star of the show, one of my hands down favorite Italian dishes, carbonara. The pancetta. If you can have your butcher or your deli person cut that for you in about quarter inch, that's what you're looking for. If you don't have the, uh, if you don't have the pancetta to work with, thick cut bacon with as little seasoning to it as possible. I need to get some of the pancetta out. And I've taken this pancetta, gone nice and slow. Mom, if you don't mind, I need four yolks and one whole egg. Half of the pancetta comes out, nice and crispy. I haven't put too much heat on this. Nice crunch, nice crisp. Okay, so we'll hold on to this. Let it, conti let it continue to cook down a little bit and let me get some, uh, salt into my pasta water, very nice. And bucatini is the pasta. Now this is, out of all the types of pasta, this is my favorite. The kids are big penne regate, you know, the penne pasta. This to me is, is kind of the cross. Love spaghetti, love the texture. It's what we used to throw on the uh, ceiling in, in yeah. Ferndale. But this right here has a hole through it, bucatini, small hole. So what we're gonna do is take a pound of this. And you're not, when it comes to pasta, I really think spending the money on it, getting the pasta that's got kind of a rough finish to it, not a super sheen, it's the way that it was dried, it was the way that it was processed, pay the money for the pasta. You're gonna eat it, do it, okay? So that goes down. Nothing like dry pasta, it just gives, it's, it gives a better tooth. Al dente, uh -huh. you know, to the tooth. Yeah. Now, a little cayenne pepper. Just a touch. Just, I mean, we're talking just a touch. And a little black pepper, Mom, if you want to go ahead and, uh, and grab a, a fork and kind of mix this up a little bit. There we go. Lay it right under here. So pull the rest of this off. I just have to divide it. I'm going to save some of that pancetta right there. I wanted to let it go a little bit further. Some of the pancetta is going to go on top. Let it cool down a little bit, and then we're going to mix it into the eggs. So it's going to be the eggs. And, Mom, you can go ahead and throw that cheese in whenever you're ready. We're not making an omelet. In this is eggs? all the beginning preparation right in there. This is all the beginning preparation for making the carbonara. It's very simple, but it's just premium, premium ingredients done the right way. I'll take the heat off of that. I'm going to mix that bucatini in there in just a little bit. I have got some bucatini pasta down that I'm going to drop some frozen peas into, all for the carbonara. Now, you're saying, he's putting the peas in. Oh, they're going to overcook. It's going to be crazy. No. What's going to happen, I'm going to give them one little quick stir, and I'm going to take them out. That's just going to thaw them out just enough. I don't want them to sit there and get, to get uh, thawed out on the counter. Then they get mushy, and it just won't work right, okay? Over to, the pot, to this pan here that has a little bit of that pancetta fat. That's what I'm looking for. Reserve that water there, just to make a little bit of the uh, little bit of the pan sauce, pancetta, some yolks, and some Parmesan cheese. All go together for this dish. Now, bucatini, the pasta with a hole in it, the spaghetti with a hole in it, isn't the normal one that you use for this dish. But not to worry, it's my favorite. So what I want to do is move this real quick and make sure that I don't create omelet a la pasta. Okay. Now let me get a little bit of. Italian parsley into there. Oh, get down into the bowl. And the pancetta's already there. Beautiful color. Right behind you, Mom. Okay. Okay. I got a little reserve pancetta that we hit right on top of that. And a little bit of the Italian parsley. And some more of the grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh my goodness, that looks dynamite. 